I'm Janice of Growing Light Wellness and Yoga, and welcome to Comfy Cozy Cold Day Yoga. Looks like we're gonna have some company for this one. This is Ivy and Peanut, and looks like they might be joining us. So we're just gonna take a few minutes today to get the body warmed up and loosened up and ready to move out into your day. A little chilly out there. I live in upstate New York, so temperature is in the 20s today. So we're going to, we don't want to move right from sleep into those cold temperatures to get a start on our day. It's always better if we can warm up a little bit first. So let's start in a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you. I'm going to start cross-legged. If you can't quite get into that position, one thing that can help is to take a blanket or a towel or a yoga block and set that under your butt. So it just elevates your hips a little bit and it gives you that freedom to let the knees relax. You can also send the legs out a little bit more in front of you. Maybe bring the feet together, sit like this. Whatever feels good in your body. So let's take a moment here. See if you can draw the shoulders back over the hips and the ears back over the shoulders. So the spine is nice and long. Tuck the chin slightly, reach up through the crown of the head. And for this morning, let's turn the palms up. So when we open the palms and turn the palms up, it's like a signal to the universe that we're ready to receive. So in this moment, be ready to receive whatever the day brings you, whether it's gifts or lessons. Take a deep breath here and exhale through the mouth. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhaling through the nose, press the palms together, bring the hands to the heart. Peanut's going after the treat. She's ready to receive lots of dog treats today. Inhaling through the nose, feel the belly expand, feel the chest rise just slightly, and exhale through the nose. Take one more deep, full breath here. And exhale, release the hands. Let's start to move a little bit. We'll inhale the arms up. Palms together, exhale, turn the palms out, hands come back down to the sides. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, hands come back down to the sides. When you bring your arms up, cup your hands just slightly as if you're scooping through the air. So inhale, scooping and collecting all that energy, bring, then bringing the palms together. And as we exhale, turning the palms out, fingers spread wide sort of raking, pushing through the air, pushing that back down around us. So we're creating as we inhale, bringing the palms up and exhale, bringing the palms down, almost like this little protective bubble that we can bring out into our day. Inhale and exhale. One more like that, inhale and exhale. And from here, let's bring the hands to the knees. If you have your hips elevated, you may want to remove whatever is under you at this point, or you can try leaving it there and see how this feels. Let's inhale, bring the chest forward, and then over to the right. And then as we exhale, we'll scoop and, and uh, move backwards. So inhale and exhale, scoop. So it's kind of like a cat-cow motion, but with a little rotation. So I like to call this... It's like you're stirring a pot or trying to get that last uh, bit of brownie batter from the bowl. Head and neck are relaxed. You can close the eyes here, thinking more about what this feels like than what it looks like. And on the next inhale, start to change direction. Whatever pace feels good to you, this can be very slow or a little bit quicker. And then we'll come back to center. So take one full breath here and maybe roll the shoulders back. 
And we'll start to walk that right hand out away from us. Go to your kind of personal, just under your neck here. So you're not leaning or really straining. You're just reaching, keeping the shoulder away from the ear, the spine long. And now with that same feeling of reach, inhale the left arm up, maybe bending the right elbow a little bit, keeping the body long and reaching and lifting over to the right. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze can be forward, down, or if it feels good, up at the sky. And maybe we'll open that chest a little bit. So rotating just a little bit towards the sky. One more full breath here. And then inhale back to center. Exhale, hands to the knees. And we'll take one breath in the center. And then we'll walk that left hand out. Remember, going to where you still feel that length and integrity in the spine. And keeping that length here, inhale the right arm up. And exhale into that reach. So both sit bones rooted into the floor, shoulders away from the ears, and you're reaching and lengthening over to the left side. Find a place for your gaze. Maybe you look up and open that right shoulder just a little bit. Staying rooted. One more full breath here, and then inhale back to center. Shake it out just a little bit. If you need to. And we'll move into some twists. So we'll inhale the arms up and exhale, twisting to the right. So we're always twisting from a place of length. So as we inhale and reach the arms up, we're also lengthening through the crown of the head before we twist. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper if that's available to you. Maybe you look over that back shoulder. One more inhale here, and then exhale, come back to the front. So we'll inhale the arms up overhead. Remember, we're keeping the shoulders away from the ears. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. And then we're exhale, twisting to the left. So with each inhale lengthening, and with each exhale twisting a little bit deeper. One more inhale here, and then exhale back to the front. And while we're here, let's just take a moment to bring the, palm, the hands down in front of us, either on the fingertips or the palms. You can use a block, a blanket, or pillow and start to walk your hands out. See how far you can go without straining, keeping the hips and the sit bones moving towards the floor. So you're really just reaching your chest forward here. You can bring your forearms down to the floor if you'd like or to a blanket, towel or block. And then see if you can lower your chest and your forehead. You can make a pillow with your fist to rest your head on so that you're not just hanging out in space. And then we'll inhale and start to walk it. Find your way toward the ground. So rest here with your palms on the floor, your forearms on the floor, your forehead reaching toward the floor, your hips reaching back toward that seat. I'm going to give my dog some treats, quiet them down a little bit. And just take a moment here. And on the inhale, start to walk yourself back up. Good. 
Let's turn so that we're, if you're not already long ways on your mat, I was not because I was facing you. And we'll move through a little bit of strengthening here. So I want you to lift the chest, hold the backs of your knees, almost like you were holding a little handle. I become, and start to lift the chest and lean back just slightly. Come up on the tiptoes and you can stay here. You can lift one leg and lower, lift the other leg, lower. Let's lift the first leg, the right leg, lower, left leg, lower. One more like that, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Always keeping that chest lifted. You can stay with those or you can come with me. Inhale, lift both legs and lower. Inhale, lift both legs and lower chest is lifted so you're not arching or slouching here inhale lift both legs and lower this time we'll lift both legs or you can stay with the one leg version we're going to release the hands so inhale lift and lower inhale lift and lower inhale lift and lower good and now let's lift the legs See if you can lift both legs. If you still want to stick with the one leg variation, you can. Inhale, lift, lift. See if you can straighten the legs. And then on the exhale, you're going to make your way down to lying down one vertebra at a time. You can use your hands here. Whew. Make sure you breathe. So give yourself a nice big inhale and exhale. <sighs> that was hard. Thanks for sticking with me. Let's do a couple more strengthening things and we'll move into a little more stretching and then we'll wrap it up. So bend your right knee in, lift that left leg toward the sky, interlace your fingers around the back of the left thigh, keep your tailbone pressing into the mat. Hold here, inhale, pull it just one millimeter even back towards your face. See if you can get that leg as close to straight as possible for you. And then exhale, bring the hands to the floor, palms to the floor. Inhale, pull that leg towards you. Exhale, bring it down an inch. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it down a few inches. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it down a little bit more. And you can always set it down or bend the knee if you need to. Inhale here. Exhale, come down a little bit more. Inhale here. Exhale, come down a little bit more. We're hovering now. Let's take a full breath here with that foot hovering above the floor. Inhale and exhale all the way down. Great. And we'll bend that left knee. Send the right leg toward the sky. Interlace the fingers around the back of the thigh and just give it a gentle pull toward your face. Don't ever go past your limit. You don't want to go to the point of pain here. You should feel a gentle stretch, but not anything sharp or painful. So we'll flex that foot, foot to the sky like we're trying to stand on the ceiling. And you can see I'm a little stiffer, tighter on this side. My leg isn't as straight. Inhale, give yourself one little flex toward the face. And exhale, release the hands. Inhale, pull that leg towards you. Exhale, lower it just a little bit. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale to hold. Exhale to lower just slightly. Inhale. Exhale, lowering. See if you can straighten out that leg if it's bent. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale here. Exhale, lower. We're hovering. We're going to take one full breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, lower that leg all the way to the mat. Great. So we'll bend both knees, hug the knees into the chest, give yourself a little rock from side to side. Maybe you make some circles with the low back. Plant the right foot on the mat. I promise we're done with the leg lifts. Send that left foot toward the ceiling. 
Give yourself a gentle little pull here on the inhale and on the exhale, cross your left ankle over your right knee. Now you can stay here or there are a couple variations you can take. You can gently push the left thigh away from your face as you activate this right thigh, kind of almost like pressing into the foot so it activates that thigh. You can reach in between your legs, interlace the fingers around the back of the right thigh or the front of the right shin and pull that right knee towards you as you push that left thigh away. Or you can do this without the use of your hands at all. So your hands can be down and you can either have the feet down or with hands down, pressing into the floor, you lift the leg, pulling the right knee in, pressing the left knee away. And this will give you a little bit of uh, strengthening in your core as well, but feel free to use your hands. One more inhale here. See if you can release any remaining tension in those outer thighs and exhale lower. Inhale the right foot to the, or left foot to the sky, exhale lower. Inhale the right foot to the sky, exhale, bring that right ankle to the top of the left thigh and the knee area. And again, take any variation that feels good to you on this side. So you can stay right here. You can use the hands to push the right knee away as you press down into the left foot and activate that thigh. You can reach in between the legs, interlacing the fingers around the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. Or you can press the hands into the mat, press the tailbone into the mat, and use the strength of your legs and your core here. One more inhale here. Exhale, see if you can release any tension in the thighs. Inhale and exhale, bring the left foot to the mat, bring the right foot to the mat. Spread the feet out to the edges of the mat and start to windshield wiper your knees from side to side. And just do that a few times. Good. And we'll hug the knees into the chest, doing a couple of circles here. And on the inhale, you're going to come to stillness and the arms out wide, or you can cactus the arms here if you want to get a little bit more of a stretch in the shoulders. And on the exhale, let both knees fall to the right. If you need to, you can scoot your hips a little bit toward the left. That'll give you a little bit more space. And you can keep the arms wide or you can bring the right hand to the top of the left knee. Gaze can be at the sky, over the right shoulder for a little more restorative version, or over the left shoulder for a little bit deeper neck stretch and a little bit deeper stretch through the spine. Inhale, feel the belly rise. Feel the way the breath moves a little bit differently in the twist. As if you're opening the ribs to make way for the breath. Release any tension in the neck, the shoulders, the belly, the legs, on the exhale. I tend to tense my legs in this position, so I'd like to bring my attention to the legs which immediately helps me to relax them. On the inhale, bring your gaze back to the ceiling, bring your knees back to the center. If you shifted your hips, plant the feet just for a second and reset by sending your butt toward your heels and tailbone back down to the mat. Inhale, hug the legs in, send the arms wide or cactus. Exhale, knees fall to the left. Arms stay wide or left hand can come to the top of the right knee. Find that place for your gaze that feels good. That's not too much stress on your neck. Do a quick body scan here with the breath. See if there's any areas where you're tensing or holding. And on the exhale, release in those areas. 
for me it's the calves right now and that right thigh so on the inhale I bring my attention there and on the exhale I'm just be relaxed on the inhale bring your gaze back to center bring the knees back to center do a couple little rocks here release that low back on the inhale wrap your arms around your knees or just continue to hold the knees curl into a ball so you're curling your head towards your knees make fists with your hands and curl your toes tighten everything up take another inhale here inhale a little bit more breath sip in just a little bit more breath and when you feel like you're completely full hold for just a second and then exhale release everything release the breath release the body all the way down to the mat arms come wide legs come wide feet turn out palms to the ceiling get whatever movements out that you need to as you make your way into a place of rest and relaxation no matter where you are in your day if you're just starting out or if you're taking time in the middle of the day for this practice or maybe this is how you're ending your day it's so important to take this final resting pose to let the results of our practice seep the way into the body and make themselves known. Let your breath return to its natural rate and rhythm. Maybe you have the eyes closed here. And then take a moment to picture a stream of warm sunlight that starts at the top of your head and fills the body starting at the toes. So picture that sunlight moving down through the body to the toes, from the toes to the feet, to the ankles, to the lower legs, melting away any tension that might still be remaining in the body, bringing with it a sense of peace, a sense of ease. As that sunlight moves up past the knees, into the thighs, into the pelvis and the hips, the belly and the low back. That sunlight fills your chest and the area around your heart and your upper back, the back of your heart where we receive love. The sunlight fills your shoulders all the way down your arms into your hands, spilling out your fingertips as you bring that light with you into the world. That sunlight fills the area of your neck and your throat, warming that area, helping you find your voice, warming the muscles of your face, maybe allowing you to soften those muscles and smile just a little bit. The area behind your eyes, between your eyes, that third eye area of intuition and self. And then filling up through the top of the head and again coming up around the whole entire body, wrapping you in this blanket of warm sunlight that you can carry out into this cool winter day. Take a moment here to just feel that peace and ease and that warmth. To feel your breath. And now bring the attention back to the body, taking a moment to wiggle the fingers and toes, maybe moving the legs, shrugging the shoulders, turning the head from side to side, turning on to one side, and then using your arm to assist you back up into a seated position, taking all the time that you need. And we'll finish where we started in this easy seat with our assistance. So take a moment here. Maybe the eyes are still closed or half closed. Pull those shoulders over the hips, the ears over the shoulders. 
feel tall and strong, but light at the same time. And we'll inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the palms together. Hands come through center, down to the heart. Press the thumbs into the heart. Take a moment here. Thank yourself for showing up. Inhale, press the thumbs into that forehead, the area of the third eye. Connecting your mind and your heart, knowing that you're worth this time that you took for yourself today. One more inhale here. And then exhale, release your hands to seal your practice. So I hope you found that a good way um, to, do, to integrate some warmth into your day. I'd love to hear what you think. So. Please leave a comment if you can. Mm. And thanks for joining us. Have a great day.